it's all in the past, you know, these, these things of today, it doesn't happen like it did years ago, it's, it's a different ball game. I know this guy, I don't know personally, and when he had to speak to somebody about his business, he'd go to Revere Beach and walk with that person on the sand, whether that person was from the north then or from another state. They were talking about whatever business they were doing. He'd go to Revere Beach and walk on the sand. There was no bugs. They couldn't bug him. But just in case anybody was walking near them, or if they were standing on the corner, someone could hear them. That's the smart, wise guy. Knew what he was doing. Maybe you knew, and if you, maybe you didn't know. And if you knew, you just went down the street and mind your business. You never talked about it. Like, I would never talk about it to anybody, what went on if... If something happened on Charter Street or Henchman Street, you know, Salem Street, I just wouldn't talk about it. See, I, got, I have a book here that was written years ago about all these wise guys. I didn't know them. Maybe if, if I saw them walk by, I might have seen their faces, but, you know, actually know them like I wouldn't know you or anybody else. But this, this writes a, this is about guys that took action and, and whatever. Some were good, some were bad, worse than others, but... That's all in the past, you know, these these things of today, it doesn't happen like it did years ago. It's it's a different ball game. Better ball game or worse? Well I think I think the old time wise guy was smarter than the the new time wise guy. The the new wise guys, did drugs ruin them? I think maybe the drugs had something to do with it. Because, you know, like I say, drug problem is a bad problem. And there's a lot of money to be made, but to me, like you're hurting people, it's it, 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 but if they went into it or not, I don't know. I guess where it got out of hand, I'm assuming they did. Otherwise, it wouldn't get out of hand. You know, if they didn't want it, they'd put a stop to it. So what brought down the Italian, you know, mafia? Why did it disappear? Uh, I think, I'm assuming, where the law really clamped down on some of these guys, who went to jail, who come out of jail, who died in jail, and it's not like it used to be. A lot of these newcomers don't want to be wise guys. Because maybe a lot of these young kids are into drugs and they don't even think of doing something like that. Their mind isn't working right. I'm, I'm assuming. I really don't know. But that's the way I'm thinking. So there's no more organized crime, really? Not, Italian organized crime, you think? Not that I know of. If there is, I don't know anything about it. I never heard anything anymore. So it, it's. I think it's a thing of the past. Do you miss it? It didn't bother me when it was here. So I don't know. Didn't bother me at all. Like I say, if you didn't bother them, they didn't bother you. You stepped on their toes, then they stepped on yours. So, yeah. you know, some people bothered them, and they got hurt. Well, some guys that might come in from out of town that want to become wise guys, and they, they're in front of wise guys, and they, you know, give them bad lip, or make them think because they're tough, they're tougher than you, and uh, they make assholes out of them, and they're going to get hurt. You know, just don't do that. You want to fit in, you act like a gentleman. Because most of the wise guys are gentlemen. So you act the same way as them. You don't think, make them think, well, I'm tougher than you and I can kill this guy and kill that guy because you're stepping on toes and you don't do it. They don't want people like that. So either they're going to hurt you or they're going to tell you, get the fuck out and don't come back. And that's it.